this is uh, Brightline from the Collision Conference in Toronto, and I'm delighted to have Poppy Crum with me from the Dolby uh, Lab. Yes. You're from California, right? I am. I'm uh, here yeah, from San right. Francisco. It's great to be here in Toronto. And Poppy today had two uh, good presentations, one about AI and uh, technology mm -hmm. and how it uh, really helps us to understand other people, and another one about, you know, how we, how we interact with each other, how we build trust, how we build teams. And this is especially also interesting for us that we are promoting project management because we build with teams, we build with customers. So uh, tell us a little bit how you know your uh, insights and your uh, developments could help us project managers to, to be a better leader. Oh well. <laughs> So what my the talk here, one of my talks was I think the title was the technology of storytelling. Yeah. But in fact, you know, in my role, so I'm chief scientist at Dolby Laboratories. I'm also an adjunct professor at Stanford University. But some of the things we've been looking at and we've realized is you know the amalgamation of sensors in our environments paired with machine learning and AI. The understanding of human, the human individual, and uh, what we're experiencing, our emotions, our stressors, our cognitive efforts, is becoming much richer that we can, that our technology can know. Um, and you know, Dolby, we we are a company focused on you know entertainment and lifestyle yep, yep, and yep. enterprise communication experiences. Um, but one of the things that is really unique and special about us is because we work with such rich emotional content, we actually learn a lot about human experience and the ways that you can touch a human, reach a human, the right, human right. experience. Um, I'm a neuroscientist by training, but, you know, and, that, and I, that's how I spent much of my life in computational neuroscience, and I've been in the technology space now for nine to ten years. And, um, one of the things that I think is really powerful today is understanding, you know, getting outside of one-size-fits-all technologies and really instead thinking about how you optimize, um, you, or at least you bring to your culture, you bring to your technology um, a personalized experience that really lets you bring out the best of each individual and put together the best teams. Yeah. Um, some of the things I talked about in my talk today were the ways that, you know, information we can learn. We can know if someone's, you know, cognitive, they're, they're having to work hard, their brain is uh, working harder in one context, one environment over another. How do we change that to keep people in the places where they're optimized? You know, how do we get that information and really change it so we can use information about how someone's die, eye might be dilating, which gives us an indicator of their cognitive effort. We can use even the, the breath that we exhale, right? Our exhalant, our, uh, the chemical composition changes with your emotions and your feelings. Um, we, you know, I, we look at the thermal signatures of individuals to understand their feeling, you know, their emotions. And I think what's really powerful though is that we get to move into a space of building we get to move into a space of building teams and experiences, and in our case, you know, translating the emotions of a creator, right. where we really know what someone's experiencing, and we get to sort of elevate that in their spaces and in, through their technology. Um, one of the things I talked about uh, was how we communicate together. You know, and I, you know, there are there's so much underway to under, you know, to capture sentiment analysis of individuals, not at our company, but through other companies. Um, but one thing that we looked at at Dolby that I think has huge application to so many different groups is what it means to simply be social creatures, you know, and, in, and yep. you know, the, the things that happen to us when, in very powerful, positive ways. When we're when we're in the same place together, like we are at this conference, where there are what twenty five thousand of us in the same <laughs> environment. Yeah, right. But for us, it's why you know going to a cinema has a powerful experience. Um, so what we've been able to show there that is really transformative is the idea that okay, when we're having emotional experiences or we're capturing you know a powerful thought or emotion, a, a, a techno, a sort of story that someone's trying to tell us, uh, we look at the neural and biological signatures of people when they're together, not interacting, but just in the same space, or 
alone and look at how coherent their their brains are their neural signatures we're using electroencephalograms and we're using biometrics and people synchronize like when we're having powerful emotional experiences we don't even need to be interacting verbally or physically just being in the same space are that energy that information it's, it's yeah. enough to really team up and to synergize and, uh, and to have on one joint experience absolutely it's the yeah. biological signatures that we maybe may be non-overt but our our bodies are picking up on so what we're able to do through the technology of storytelling is to create technologies that amplify that that enhance oh, yeah. those signatures and when you think about product, you know, project management and putting together good teams, the culture of those teams is so rich, and it, you know, ways in ways that you might not even realize how yeah, yeah. you know the health or the optimization is actually you know translating. Because for me, this this sort of basic science data that we're able to you know study and, and think about has application for uh, why the cinema is always relevant why we go to music shows, why we live shows, yeah. why we why come, come to conferences. Come yeah. Exactly. It's so transformational compared to trying to get that same information online or by our, you know, in a virtual environment. Um, it also has a lot of transfer, you know, yeah. impact on healthcare and just the, the success of you know, how we are as social humans yeah. that can you know, bring the most um, creativity and the most right. positive impact transformation. So, so impact. what I personally experienced in the project environment, you know, working for instance with a team in India and a team in Germany and a team in Russia, uh, what is what, always important, you know, that you have a, a joint kickoff face to face where you can experience yourself as a group and build a team. Mm -hmm. So this reflects somehow to what we were saying. You know, we have to be together and, and then some unconscious uh, things happen. You know, you, the CO2 level in a mm -hmm. room raises jointly. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, do you have any, any ideas how we could um, uh, speed up that process? You know, that, that if we are together just for one or two days, maybe in that kickoff situation, how, which kind of tools could we use to improve uh, the cohesion of the team? Have a create emotional impact, okay. like you know, because that's what we find is the more emotion, you know, emotionally connected or emotionally impactful the experience is, that's where you get the strong synchrony across individuals. So if you're even doing an offsite or you're doing something where you're trying to get those teams to to together, come yeah. together, you really want to take them to that step. You want to take them to some place that, you know touches those rich, okay. uh, rich. So maybe it doesn't even have to be a, a joint activity, but uh, a, a joint video where we see something, uh, a, a touching situation. You know? Yeah, I get to say, even yeah. watching a movie yeah. will have a positive impact. Okay, that may be a, go. <laughs> a good tip. Yes. So I, I think we could talk for forever in here, but uh, I think it, uh, thank you for coming here after that hard day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the interview and will enjoy the rest of the position. Thank you. Absolutely, okay. thank you for having me.